welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a really fun teacher video. It's kind of like a classroom prep type video. I am finally going to decorate the toolbox that's been behind me um, for a couple weeks. I've had it for a couple weeks, but I'm finally going to create the labels and get it all cute. And so this video might not be that interesting to some of you, but I'm really excited about it. So we're going to print the labels, laminate them, cut them, and put them in the drawers and it's gonna be super fun and I'm so excited to see how it turns out. So let's get started. Okay, so the very first thing we have to do is find labels or create labels. Now I am not that savvy when it comes to like graphic design or anything. So I went ahead and I purchased labels for this specific toolbox that I have. I have the Iris 24 drawer toolbox. Um, I will link it below so you can get it. It's available from Target and Amazon, so I'll link both. Um, so that's the one I have, and so I went on the internet and I searched for labels. You can find these on Teachers Pay Teachers, you could find them through other teachers' blogs or even just people who've made them that aren't teachers, but because I'm using it in my classroom, I wanted it to be teacher-specific labels. So I found labels that I really liked from, let me tell you where they're from. Okay, so the labels are from Krauss Math, and I think I got these off of her website. I found her on Instagram and she had posted a picture of this exact drawer system that I have with all these labels in it. And so I thought they were really cute. They were only $6 from her website. So you just pay the $6 and then you can download them and print them. She made 130 different labels. Now, obviously that's so amazing because there's so many different kinds of things you could put in these drawers and she really gives you all of the options that you might want obviously there's no way to use all of them so you have to find the ones you want so the first step finding the labels is done i got them from Krauss math and i'm really excited the second step is to pick out the labels i'm actually going to use like i said there's 130 labels that she made in this file i obviously only need 24. so i'm going to show you how I pick them out and what they look like. So these are the labels. There are 13 pages of labels all the way down. So I'm just gonna click through them quickly so you can see. They have a really cute font. They say what each label is going to have or each drawer is gonna have in it. And then she has a really cute clip art that she made to go along with the labels. So there's plenty of different kinds that you might need in your classroom. Um, there's some labels that you can tell are maybe the same type of item, but she's labeled them differently depending on what you call them or how you refer to them or maybe a specific brand that you like to use over other brands. So she's giving a lot of examples and a lot of choices. And also this is the updated 2020 version. So um, on the last page, she has one for masks and gloves. And even on one of the other pages, she has one for wipes. So that'll be really good this year with coronavirus and everything. So you can have um, materials in these drawers that you can use to sanitize and keep you and your students safe, which is awesome. So those are all of the labels that she has made. So now that we've seen these labels, I'm gonna show you how I found out or how I figured out the ones I'm going to use um, because we only need 24. So I made a little note on the side and I went through each page, started on page one and I looked and I said, okay, which labels would I use? And I listed them out. So most of mine are gonna come from page one. I have like six. So I listed them out and I went through each page. And that way when I go to print, I don't need to print every single page because there's a couple pages where I'm not gonna use any of the labels on there. Um, so it'll save you time and ink and paper and to just have it all planned out, ready to go. So these are all the ones I'm gonna be using. So now that I've shown you the labels, we've planned out what I'm gonna use, it is time to print them. All right, so like I said, the third step is to actually print the labels. We've moved, I'm now by my printer, which lives under my desk. So before I print it, I wanted to show you the two things I'm gonna be using with my printer. So I'm gonna be printing this on the Astrobrite Premium cardstock the white cardstock. I bought this at Target. Cardstock is just genuinely more expensive than regular paper. So um, I will link this cardstock. I'll try to find it in a couple places so you can find 
the best value for you. Um, this pack was like maybe $6 and it came with 75 pieces of cardstock. So I'll be printing it on this cardstock so that way the labels last a while um, because I don't want to have to make them again <laughs> um, unless I want to change up some of the drawers, but some of them will never change. Like I'm always going to need certain things. And then I'm also using my HP printer and I talked about this um, I talked about this in my what you need for a first year teacher, what you need to buy. And I mentioned HP Instant Ink. And if you have an HP printer, this is so amazing. So you literally like go on hpinstantink.com. I'll link it below. You sync up your printer and they send you ink. Every time your printer ink is running low, you don't even have to think about it. And you just sign up for how many pages a month you think you're gonna print and you pay according to that. The payment is actually really cheap. Like I think the cheapest plan is like two and a half dollars, maybe $3 a month. And ink is so expensive. So if you pay for this like $3 a month, it will provide you ink for that amount of pages every single month. You don't have to think about buying new ink. And if you realize that maybe you're printing more than that, then you can change your payment. So this is absolutely not sponsored. I just love HP and I love their ink and I love that I don't have to think about buying ink. So. We're going to use my HP printer to print out all of our labels. printing is over, which means it's time for step four. So step four is to laminate these labels. So here is um, one of the pages. It looks beautiful. And this is one of my laminating sheets. Now I buy the Amazon basic laminating sheets because you can get like a hundred in a pack. So I will link those too, but in case you've never used a laminating sheet, it opens up like this and you Put whatever you're laminating in between and then it's in between the little plastic pieces. I have already put all of mine in the laminating pouches. Although, friends, I realized that most of my laminating pouches are with my classroom things in my classroom 30 minutes away from where I live. And I was in the middle of filming this already when I realized that. So I had to do a little bit of a maneuvering and you will see which laminating pouch looks different than the others. So now they're all in the pouches and it's time to get laminated. Okay, before I start laminating, I wanted to show you my laminator. I use the Amazon Basics laminator. It's super simple to use. It just has two settings. So five milliliters or three milliliters and then you turn it on to whichever setting you need. And then while it heats up, this is just red. And then when it's ready, it turns green. So it's ready and I'm ready to laminate. Okay, so I don't remember what step we're on, but after you laminate them, they're gonna look amazing and shiny, and they're gonna have the little plasticky sound, and they're gonna feel so durable. So mine are now all laminated, and I don't know if you saw in that little time lapse, but this is a little trick. So I had only eight laminating sheets, and there was like 11 pieces of paper I printed out. And so on those last three, I just cut out the labels from those three pieces that I was gonna use, and I put them all in one sheet. 
Now this is a little tricky and like, as you can tell, it didn't really laminate straight, but that's okay because we're just gonna tape it in to the drawers and it's all gonna be fine. That's my little trick if you run out of sheets and whatever you're laminating is tiny. That's my trick. So now that they're laminated, we are gonna cut them with my paper cutter. I have one of these really big paper cutters. This is from Swing Line. I will link it below. I got it on Amazon. So yeah, it's time to paper cut. And then we finally get to put them in the drawers. All right, we've made it to the end. I am going to now put the labels in the drawers. I have cut them all. They all look about this size. There's plenty more, but I've actually already put them in the drawers that I want them to be in. So I just kind of like put them in so that way when I go to tape them, it will go quick and easy. So I'm gonna be using double-sided tape because I want them to be able to stick to the front but I don't want them to be on the outside of the drawer, so that way they last longer. So I just bought some Scotch double-sided tape. And let's get taping. I'm so excited. Okay, I did it, it is completed. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. The labels fit perfectly in the drawers. And like I said, I taped them to the back like you saw. So these drawers actually come out. So they are taped to the back with some double-sided tape. And you really can't even see the double-sided tape like at all. I mean, you can if I am really close and there's like really bad lighting or whatever, but. Oh my gosh, I love it so much, guys. And obviously, it's not going to live on my dresser. It's going to end up in my classroom. I love it so much. I'm so happy I did this. And yeah, it's amazing. Okay, so that was what my drawer system looks like. I'm so in love with it. It looks so good. And I'm so happy you guys were able to watch this video and to see me decorate my whole system. Um, and my drawers with my labels. I really love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you don't already, follow me on Instagram. I have a teacher Instagram where I post a lot about my teaching journey and this year is going to be really interesting. So we'll see what it brings. Um, and you can follow me on there to see what I use these drawers for. Maybe I'll do stuff in the day where I'll be using the drawer. Um, and so I'll talk about it more over there. But thank you for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, comment. I love talking to you guys in the comments. And I'm so happy you're here. Keep spreading positivity, and I'll see you next time. Bye, friends.